It is time for five more amazing suit mods in Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. These are sick. Trust me, you're going to want to stick around for all five of them. But before I do, I have two things I want to cover. One is an apology and kind of me saying that I'm going to do something better. And that is crediting the creators of the mod. That's something I haven't been doing, honestly, because I hadn't thought of it. But just going through a lot of the mods, I'm reading the descriptions. A lot of the creators say that they want to be credited for it. So I will say the name of the creator, plus of course have the link in the description. I'm gonna not put just a Nexus mod link. There's gonna be five total links in the description, one for each of the mods. That's my bad. I honestly hadn't thought about it since I don't really make mod videos a ton. Well, I mean, there's been one a day for like five days now, so I'm making them more, but this is just me learning along the way and trying to make things better. Number two, thank you guys so much for the support. These videos are doing great on my channel. You guys seem to really be enjoying them. Hey, it would mean the world if you like it enough to subscribe and like the video. If we get to 200 likes quickly, that lets me know that you want the next video and there's mods coming out daily. They are only going to improve with time right now. They're still all just reshades and stuff like that. That gives us cool color combinations for suits that are not in the game. But at some point, there's just going to be amazing full on brand new textured mods coming. And I can't wait for that, but that's pretty much it. I don't want to waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Trust me, these five suits are fantastic. First up in today's showcase, we have Webman from Modern Maximus McGregor that changes the classic web suit to Webman from the Super Spidey Stories number 25 from 1977, apparently. I have never really heard of this comic, but I'm going to go ahead and take his word for it. I love the color of it, though. That's the first thing that stands out to me. Obviously, the light blue with that some variation of red. I think it's a wonderful little combination and swinging around the city like this. It's damn sick. I also really love the way that the suit looks during combat. I think it's, it's pretty darn fun and swinging around the nighttime with a suit that has colors that's this vibrant is a pretty cool contrast. We've checked out a lot of black suits, so I appreciate the fact that this one adds a little more color into our little world here and don't worry we will have more suits that are colorful in future episodes so definitely keep an eye out for those but for now let's move on to and i say this every time my new favorite version of the symbiote costume the vintage symbiote suit comes from modern high turtle the purple option is a more comic accurate version to the ultimate comics and that is right I did say option. There is a variant for this mod that has white outlines instead of the purple outlines. I love purple. It's my favorite color. So that's why I actually went with that. But I think that this looks amazing or ultimate, I should say, I suppose. But either way, I think it's a really fun suit and it's really well done. There's a lot of suit mods that are kind of like work in progresses. And yes, they look cool, but they still have little hitches. This one seems to be working perfectly. I might play through a good variety of the game with this mod, not just for this video. I actually just really enjoy the color here. It's super dark during the nighttime. It obviously blends in really well. And I love the purple hue around the costume. Again, there is a white variant. I'll actually just show you here in a screenshot. You can, of course, get that the install file comes with both versions just install whichever one you prefer and that's pretty much it i think that high turtle did an amazing job with this and this quickly rose the ranks of my favorite symbiote suits in the game because there's a lot people are adding a lot of symbiote suits into the game but this one stands out for sure modder i am the clayman brings us what he calls the neon cane suit i guess that black and purple unintentionally became my focus for this episode because this is the second time we see it but i talk about contrast a lot i love the way that purple and black looks and this is a sick version of a costume that i don't really care for uh last time i said that the costume sucked you guys were very adamant that that didn't suck i'm only talking about my opinion but for me this neon cane suit really turns a suit that I would never really use into one that I think is amazing. Like the other suit, this looks really good in combat, as you can see. And if we're honest, you could probably change the purple to a whole variation of colors. Yellow would look good. Gold would look good. Silver would look good. You can make this costume look good with some color changes, even some like green stuff. We don't see a ton of green costumes. 
it's a nice touch that the eyes are also purple. They could have easily been white, but it does help the whole neon aesthetic. This might not be a super flashy suit or anything, but I really enjoyed it and I hope you guys did too. Here we have what is supposed to be a little bit more of a comic accurate version of the Spider-Man 2099 suit. Modder the Dark GOE does mention that as of right now, it's kind of impossible to change the blue accents that are still there. I think he wanted to go all with the darker color, but that just wasn't a thing right now. But comic accurate costumes are sort of an easy way to impress me. I think that they look really, really good. And the black hair does look more representative of what Spider-Man 2099 looks from the comics and what I remember mostly in the cartoon. That That's what I remember more than the comics. I've never read a ton of his comics, but the animated cartoon from back in the day that I do remember. I will say that I do 100% prefer this over the default color for the suit. So at the very least, it just improves it, even if it's not fully all the way there as far as comic accuracy, but they're trying to get there. And any attempt to get it closer to the comics and closer to what I remember as a kid from the cartoons in this instance, that's a win in my book. It's just that that back shoulder. I wish that that was dark instead of that blue. I don't know the logistics of why that can't be changed right now, but hey, in the future, we're going to have some insane mods and maybe we will have a 100% comic accurate Spider-Man 2099 suit. But for now, this does just fine. This next mod would have been the highlight of the entire video. This would have been the best one of the day if it wasn't for the issue that you are seeing on screen right now. It has a gold head for whatever reason. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce this modder's name. I'll just have it on screen because I'm going to mess it up and I don't want to do that. But yeah, for some reason that this is, has a bug. There's actually one more suit that I wanted to show you and I'm not going to because it, it's really messed up and I want whenever I show that suit for it to be right because a lot of people have been asking for this mod. But for now, Miles Morales Spider-Verse version is in the game. There will probably be a fix to fix that gold head thing. And once that is fixed, this looks amazing. I'll show a couple screenshots that the modder posted on the website where it's working fine for him. It works fine for some people and it doesn't work fine for others. I don't know why. Once this gets sorted, once this bug is resolved, I'll actually go ahead and post a fix in the description for whenever that does end up being the case. But this one's a huge bummer because I thought this would have been the perfect one to be the focus for this video, but the glitch kind of messes it up. It's still very early on. People are still getting used to modding the game. There's some amazing stuff coming, guys. Trust me. But for now, I wanted to show you this one because it's cool, but that gold helmet, man. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support means the world to me. We've reached 4K subs. Again, thank you. You guys are amazing. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. See you soon.